Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you how I get different color of macarons in one single batch. So I use the Italian method, so that's all the ingredients that you see here, the egg whites and my almond flour and powdered sugar mixture. I've already got my meringue ready to go as well, just to make this video a little bit shorter. I've got separate bowls and separate spoons. I put aside the colors that I want to use for each bowl. I've got my piping bags with tips on them ready to go. I put them in cups, that way it's easier to pour the batter in there. I start by pouring my egg whites into my almond flour and my powdered sugar. I mix that together and at first it seems like it's never going to get mixed and it does take a little bit but eventually it comes together, you'll see. You don't want to over mix this either once it comes together and it forms a paste. You can start adding your meringue. The way I incorporate my meringue is I go around the bowl and I cut through the middle and just keep going around cutting through the middle. I keep doing that over and over until that first uh, amount of meringue that I've added gets incorporated. I add my meringue in parts, that way I don't knock all the air out of it by putting it all in at once. And I make sure that my macarons come out the way they're supposed to. I also scrape from under the bowl that way, I make sure everything gets incorporated. Once I add in all of my meringue, I kind of slow down and I'm a little bit more gentle than I was earlier. I don't want to overfold my batter at this point because I am still going to add color to it and I'm gonna have to fold in that color as well. If I overfold here then I run the risk of making my batter extra runny. Once I'm sure that my meringue is fully incorporated I check my batter to check the consistency that I want it at and for me this here works. The next thing I do is I split my batter into three because I am using three colors. I tend not to go above three colors because then the macarons tend to come out a little bit hollow or they don't rise properly. I add in a few drops of each color and I fold it in together. I do this motion here just to make sure that the color gets dispersed throughout the entire batter and there's no parts white and parts pink. This here is the consistency that I look for in my batter. I repeat the same process that I did with the pink color for the blue and the purple colors.
Once all my batters are ready, I add them to my piping bags and start piping them onto my silicone mats. I like to use silicone mats. I just feel like they work better for me. I've tried parchment paper and I feel like in the parchment paper they move around too much. Like my macarons would lose their shape. So I just 100% prefer the silicone mats. I didn't record this part, but I do tap the trays after each color. So I tap the trays at least five times just to make sure that my macarons are gonna get the feet that you know they're known for. I rest my macarons for about 50 minutes depending on how humid it is. Then I bake them for 18 minutes at 300 um, degrees Fahrenheit. And look how pretty they come out. That bottom part of each macaron, that's what's known as their feet. Sometimes they crack, but that's okay. You can still eat them, they're still delicious.